What's up guys, Bobby here from Slittex and today I'm gonna show you how to set up sub users for your Slittex account. Let's get it started. Inside your Slittex account, click on your icon in the upper right hand corner and then uh, click on manage team. On the next page here, go ahead and click on add team member. And we're gonna fill out uh, some information here. We'll go ahead and put in uh, my details as a team member. And we're gonna define an access level. Now it's important to note what the difference is here in the access levels. Admin means they're gonna get full access to your account. Everything from being able to change a password to upgrading downgrading to updating payment info, that's gonna be the full admin access. The second option here is gonna be manager. Manager gives them full access to the account except for all the items that I mentioned pertaining to a top level access holder, such as changing the password, updating downgrading, canceling, all of those things they don't have access to do, but they have full access to every other thing inside the account. TextWord is only gonna give them access to a certain list or multiple lists that you choose. And then finally, the last one would be text word specific read only. So they'll have access to the one, two, three, ten 10 text words, uh, and they'll only be able to read the information, meaning they can only view it. They won't be able to make adjustments inside the account. So let's go ahead and assign access to me. We'll give me a uh, text word specific access level. And there's a couple things I want you guys to be aware of. Number one, how notifications work for a sub user. And number two, uh, how you can manage your sub users. So inside the account here, we can go over to the manage team option and we can view all our sub users. At any time we can delete a sub user, we can also make their uh, profile inactive. If they're text word specific, you can change the access they have for each text word, or you can delete them altogether. Now, another thing that we want to be aware of is how security works for these team members. Uh, let's say somebody quits or gets fired, you may want to revoke that access and kill their cookie session. That means that if they're logged into the text account right now, you can kill that session and it will instantly log them out for you. On the left here, active logins, you can actually kill the login for any user that's in your account and it will immediately remove them and log them out of the account. You can also use two-step authentication for your users, which will send a code to them that they'll have to confirm when they log in. Now, one thing that's a common question is, well, how do notifications work for my sub users? Let's answer that. If you have a sub user on the account, the notifications are essentially the same thing as a top level holder. So if you're the main account holder, all your notifications that you normally get to use, such as text message, email, app notifications, they can choose to use as well. So inside here, a lot of times folks will assign sub users to receive messages and converse back and forth with their subscribers. That's a common one. If you wanna send a push notification, if you're the sub user, then you can turn that on. And every time somebody receives a message or every time somebody responds, they can log into the app under their sub user account and manage the responses on a text word level basis. So that's how you use our manage team feature here at Slick Text to add sub users to your account. Should you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, 1-800-688-6290 or email us info at slicktext.com. Thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next one.